I receive a lot of lessons from dogs. If you watch from dogs, dogs. Rarely in comedies do we see the environment utilized as well as in Jacques de T's films, where all the elements within the environment are orchestrated together in a symphonic manner to build its own unique world where familiar figures often are exaggerated by certain traits and mannerisms. A world of situational comedy in which Mr. Hulot stumbles through as an outsider, not adhering to the unspoken expectations followed by the environment's residents. Instead, Mr. Hulot is curiously exploring this unfamiliar world in his own manner, whether this is a vacation home by the beach, an upper-class modern estate, a modern reincarnated Paris, or the world of automobiles. Tati is always able to capture the processes and nuances of the environment through representative objects and people placed within it, where the repetitive way of doing things made normal is presented as strange and unfamiliar through Mr. Hulat's experience of them. There's always a clear separation between Mr. Hulat and the environment he interacts with, where Mr. Hulot, like a metal ball in a labyrinth game, tries to make his way through the maze without falling into any of the traps, or in his case, being tricked by the unfamiliar procedures and mechanisms of the environment. Because of Mr. Hulot's demeanor being physical instead of communicated verbally, the comedy in Tati's films is visual, where the dialogue in his films mainly operate as being either atmospheric or expository. And the visual comedy in Tati's film work, because of the lively environments presented through wide angles, where Mr. Hulot can exist as a figure amongst figures. Tati's films are never really about characters or character development in the traditional sense, Mr. Hulot does not have much of a character arc, neither do any of the other characters. His films are rather focused on a chaotic dance between Mr. Hulot and the environment he finds himself within. If the environment were a bicycle, Mr. Hulot is the stick that randomly stumbles into its wheel, hindering the bicycle to operate like it's supposed to. And this is all happening right in front of our eyes, where we can see the accidental mess as it plays out. Tati is utilizing the film medium to a degree where Mr. Hulot's adventures never could be told through any other medium, and is rightfully cinematic on its own terms. And even though the environment presented in his films are all being mocked in some way, if it's the strange and unintuitive functionality of objects, or just the intriguing visual processes, Mr. Hulot is also the butt of the jokes himself. He's never trying to sabotage any of the processes he indulges in, naive to the ways of which he is causing much of the chaos around him. Mr. Hulot's intentions are good, and he always wants to make up for his clumsiness. While it is Jacques Tati, the director, who is the one mocking the environment through the ways his films are presenting the shortcomings and oddity of figures within the environment, classes, behavior, construction, objects, and mechanisms. I think very few are able to channel the kind of commentary about collective infrastructure as well as the type of innocent visual humor and aesthetic as Jacques Tati had with his films. And though his films might by some today be referred to as acquired taste, they are in their simplicity very universal by communicating its humor so effectively through visual language. Tati's films are great proof of the potential cinema have when it comes to bringing life to comedy in a most universal language. Which is why I believe it's important to give credit to a filmmaker like Jacques Tati, who have given cinema something beautiful and unique, which we all can enjoy forever.
if I make a picture, I will fight to do that picture and I will fight to express what I want to express, even if I make a mistake. I do a picture like a painter make his painting. Even if, if he's, you can ask all the painters, even if they are very bad painters, they like their painting. And I, myself, I like my pictures.